So that's the dark stone, and then there's a light stone as well, which is almost identical to that in the same way in the in the way I've set it up. If we go to the navigator again, you can see in the color correction for each um, submaterial, I've uh, 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 adjusted. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to move down. I've adjusted the um, gamma there. So they're they're all they're not much different. In fact, that bottom one's not different at all, is it? There we go. I'm going to change that so it is. Uh, and then if we look at the same, we're doing the same thing with the textures. We're mixing um, uh, to the identical texture, but tiled at different sizes, just to hide the tiling effect. And the other thing is, if we go in there and we and the offsets are all different as well. Just offsetting them by, it doesn't really matter what this figure is. As long as they're all different, um, it'll make sure that the textures don't uh, don't line up. Um, so that uh, light stone material, uh, we're going to apply that uh, to the pavement, the paving. So click apply. Everything will come up as material um, ID subobject 1, which is fine until we add the uh, material by element modifier. Randomly distribution, uh, random distribution and change the ID count to 3. Um, so if we close in you can see we've, we've got the right effect here. We've got um, <coughs> when these render they'll they'll be they'll be very similar but they will be noticeably different so it'll, it'll hide any uh, sort of um, tiling effect you get. It's a nice nice way to work there. Um, uh, I, I also have a material for the walls of these planters here, and this is slightly different. It's not as complicated. You'll be glad to hear. Um, and what this is is a, um, a diffuse map with again our color correction in there. I'm, it's being darkened. Uh, it's not being darkened actually. I keep changing this saturation by mistake. I don't mean to. Uh, but if I if I if I rendered it and I did want to change it, there you go. I've I've got the uh, settings here. I've I've uh, altered the saturation. Uh, uh, I've just desaturated a bit there so far, um, using a different texture. But it's it's the same idea. It's a, a big texture um, tiled. Uh, I do have a bump map in there as well, um, and uh, that's set to tiles. I didn't explain that very well. Sorry. If I go to the um, top level of the diffuse net of the diffuse um, map, I've, I've actually got a tile in there. Uh, that color correction with the bitmap that's being um, used down here in uh, as the texture for the tile. Um, so sorry about that, but that's that's how that's working. And then I've got this uh, same um, tile texture, uh, procedural texture. In, in the bump slot, um, not using any textures in there, and that's going to uh, we're going to apply that to the planters, the size of them. There we go. And if I I want to see that in the viewport, it will show us the uh, the coursing of the tiles. Um, a bad representation there. I'm pretty sure those are going to render fine. We could check that now. Uh, by doing a, a quick render. Okay, not bad. I think the renders are a little bright. I'm just using the color correction controls in the view a frame buffer there. Uh, I, I am missing the texture there though, so we'll have to fix that. We'll cancel it. 
and it's not picking up the texture on these guys here. which is the dark, uh, the dark stone material, and, and the same here. Um, um, what's going to be? Um, we'll, uh, uh, we'll check if we clicked. No, we didn't look. We need to generate mapping coordinates for those. Now that should work. Let's have a look. picking up the texture and you can see just slightly different not not the huge change that you see in the viewport but enough in the renderer that uh, you, you um, it's not too in your face it's just a subtle change that we're after there okay you don't need to render all of that out uh, the next material um, these guys uh, this dark paving edge here it's got the same material as this but it wasn't being um, varied at all. Um, we need to apply the material by element uh, to that as well. Uh, just check that's rendering fine. We need to assign the material to those. There we go. Uh, and now we look at the uh, the pool liners. Uh, that's the actual the water surface. Uh, I've got a V-ray material here, which, which is um, reflecting and refracting uh, to give uh, with a, a, a slight bump, hardly any uh, noise on the surface there, just to. Um, vary it so I can assign that to the um, water surface and you'll see it becomes transparent and then press H I'm going to choose um, pool liner and the material for the pool liner is here this is a procedural material it's uh, just simply another tile another tile map advanced controls there it's just a black um, color and the grout is a gray color so we can apply that to the pool liners uh, and then the metal finish is going to have this uh, metal material and I'm not sure I think I think those are, uh, we, we, we don't need those around there, so we're going to go in and we're going to delete those on the top viewport. So, those guys there, 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 and there. Uh, and the other ones, are, I'm not sure what I've done there, but they're they're not appearing in the right place so we'll, we'll move those up on the top viewport again wireframe we have to choose these quickly you remember those they also had the metal inserts in the pavement there so I should probably separate those but I've done that quickly with a, an edit poly um, and then the last material we have to do here is the the gravel texture which is going to uh, go underneath everything else um, and if I remember that it was missing those it couldn't find those those textures um, it has seemed to have found them here but we'll make sure that it knows where to look yeah that, 
bits in there. So we'll apply that uh, to the plane. We should definitely call it something recognizable. If we zoom in, there we go. I'll just have a quick look at that bitmap. It's just uh, another tiling, uh, square tiling image of uh, pea gravel. I used Photoshop to create all of these textures. Um, right, and the other thing we're going to do with the gravel is, uh, uh, to make it look gravelly, we're going to just give it a bit of displacement, um, a V-Ray displacement modifier on there. Um, we're happy to use the same texture channel that the texture is, that the uh, diffuse texture is using. Um, we don't need 3D mapping, 2D mapping is fine. Um, we need to choose the text map in a second, but we're just going to change these settings. Um, we don't want it to be um, uh, too high, so we'll choose um, 4 centimeters. And because it's going to go um, uh, displace 4 centimeters up in the Z direction, we'll shift it back down uh, by 0.2. Uh, so, so it will, it will, it will, um, it will level it out with the uh, with the pavement there. Two um, D mapping. We don't need this precision to be set to eight. We're applying it to a flat plane, so you can right click on the spinner just to reset that down to one. Um, we do need a text map, and again, I've uh, got one here. And we'll just look at that. It's uh, a displacement of. Uh, you can see the. Uh, previous diffuse map that we used. Uh, nothing too fancy going on there, but um, probably not absolutely correct displacement, but uh, it'll it'll give the illusion. It, it, it'll, it'll work well enough. Uh, so we'll just drag that into the map there as an instance. Uh, that way we can alter it here. Um, uh, one last thing whilst I'm looking at uh, the textures I'm using. Uh, I always I always reset this blur from 0.1 to 0.01 just by right clicking. Um, I think they, I don't think you need that with V-Ray anymore. It was uh, sort of a leftover from the scan line. I, I, I like the the way textures look with without this, with this set to next to nothing. Um, okay, I think if I were to look at that, I'd say it's finished. Um, we do need a, a soil material in these planters, which I haven't got, so I'll just choose them. Uh, hide everything else um, and then I'm going to right click clone a copy and I'm going to lose the extrude I'm also going to um, delete the outside splines because we don't want those Again, I'm going to use a, a UVW map and uh, set to world scale, although uh, that doesn't really matter. The dirt, um, I've got a dirt material here and that's just a, a V-Ray material with a noise, um, just uh, black and brown, that's all that's doing. So I'll, I'll apply that to that. And they'll need to be moved up a bit. 